Now, have you? I know you're friends with Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Are you going to do the the whole family story on Russell Wilson? I I want to, but more than the family because he's very private um, about you know showing pictures of his daughter and and that kind of stuff. But he has no problem showing pictures of him and his wife on vacation. I think there has. Here's the thing, and a lot of and this is what I learned in covering celebrity news. Some people are very very protective of covering their children's faces, and anonymity is I I. Don't have children, so I don't pretend to give anyone a lecture on what they want to do with their child or if they want to put them out in public or not. So I don't touch that one. But I am going to, if I sit down with Russell this year, which I I should in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have a poster board of all of his statements that he makes. We're just taking one game at a time. Oh. We're you know all his proverbial <laughs> statements, and every time he says it, I'm going to go, eh, eh, and yeah. I'm going to buzz him. So he has to say something other than what's on the board because when you get Russell out of the oh. Russell speak, yep. he's wonderful. Yep. And I'm always like, what are you doing? But what happened? Somebody had to say this is <laughs> I don't know if they they somebody said listen to Derek Jeter give an interview, and that's how you should do it. You can basically be nice, courteous, courteous cooperative and not say anything mm-hmm. and and Derek was really he mastered that right he would just or just be smiling and, and you know jeter-esque and then you'd go man he was such a nice guy he didn't say anything didn't say anything yeah yeah well it's so interesting I mean we obviously love the athletes the Rob Gronkowski's like the Richard Terms the people that will just say whatever right that's a dream for us because we're like the cliches even last night, Alex Smith had such an incredible game, and I was watching the post-game interview, and it's all of the, you know, we're just working all three phases, the team first. It's like all that stuff, and it's like, of course he has to say that. But at the same time, it's like you want to, like, show your personality. And I remember when I did that interview with Rob Gronkowski before the AFC Championship game, and he gave the whole Belichick thing. I was like, are we going to do this, the entire interview? Yeah. And he's like, well, what else are we going to do? I'm like, tell me something that we don't know about Tom Brady. And he's like, well, he doesn't shower after practices. I was like, now we're getting somewhere, <laughs> folks. But it's like, and then we got, in, and then I got in trouble, like, oh, Rob Gronkowski and Carissa flirting the whole interview. And I'm like, oh, come on. Like, I just wanted something other than the, like, proverbial, like, coach, you know, speak stuff. Did you say you weren't flirting with Gronk? I was, Rob Gronkowski, can you imagine Rob Gronkowski and me? <laughs> that is like, where's the Adderall? Like, because that is like so much ADD happening. That would never work. Are you kidding me? Like... Like, you know how he's brothers? It's like, bro, like, throw another yeah. bro into the mix. Like, I mean, I remember actually his dad's so great. They have that bus. And yeah, his well, dad, after the interview, was like, come out to the bus and party, like, tailgate with us. Got a kegger. Like, exactly. I was like, God, this family's Kegsta. amazing. <laughs> Who wants to adopt me? The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.